Voyager 1 is a historic spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977. It has become the farthest human-made object from Earth, now more than 14.2 billion miles away and counting. What's even more amazing is that it still sends signals back home despite the vast distance and incredibly weak transmitter. This spacecraft officially entered interstellar space in 2012. That means it passed beyond the heliosphere, which is the protective bubble around our solar system created by the sun's solar wind. Scientists score this crossing a milestone in human space exploration, as it's the first time any object made by us has traveled this far. The technology inside Voyager 1 is shockingly old by today's standards. It has less computing power than a modern smartwatch, and yet it works. It runs on only 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a single photo on your phone. Despite this, it performs its job reliably, sending data over unimaginable distances. Data from Voyager 1 takes over 21 hours to reach Earth, traveling at the speed of light. That alone shows how vast space really is. It's like sending a message and waiting almost a full day just to hear back. Originally, the mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, but Voyager 1 exceeded all expectations. It revealed new information about their moons, magnetic fields, rings, and even volcanoes on moons like Io, which was a surprise to scientists. Voyager 1 also carries a golden record, a kind of time capsule with sounds and images from Earth. It contains greetings in 55 languages, music from around the world, and natural sounds like thunder, laughter, and heartbeats. This was a visionary idea led by Carl Sagan, who wanted to show any alien life what humanity is like. The golden record even includes a brainwave recording of a person in love, an emotional and deep insight into the human experience. The record is a message of peace, and it's designed to last for a billion years in the hope that someone, someday might find it. Voyager 1's path through space was only made possible thanks to a rare planetary alignment. This only happens every 176 years and allowed the use of gravity assists, a way to gain speed by using a planet's gravity. This technique let Voyager 1 travel faster and farther than any spacecraft before it. Without this method, reaching the outer planets could have taken 30 years or more. But thanks to this natural slingshot, it reached Neptune in just 12 years. The cleverness of the mission planning was a breakthrough in spaceflight. Voyager 1 revealed that Jupiter's moon Io has active volcanoes, which was a groundbreaking discovery. No one expected that kind of geological activity outside Earth. Then it found that Triton, Neptune's moon, had geysers that sprayed nitrogen gas, which completely changed how scientists view moons. Scientists like Ed Stone, the former Voyager project scientist, has said that Voyager opened the solar system to us in ways that we couldn't imagine before. He and his team believed these spacecraft would teach us for a few years, now they've lasted nearly 50 years. Voyager 2, the twin of Voyager 1, is also still operating. It's the only probe to have visited Uranus and Neptune, and it showed us things like the tilted magnetic fields and icy rings. These findings have helped scientists develop new models of planetary formation. Recently, Voyager 1 picked up something new again, a faint, constant hum from interstellar gas. The plasma wave instrument aboard the spacecraft detected this low-level sound, which scientists compared to raindrops on a roof, but in space. This hum is caused by charged particles floating between stars, and it helps map the interstellar medium, the matter that fills the space between stars. Scientists were surprised by the density and activity of this region. Cornell researchers noted that it was like hearing the whisper of the universe itself. Voyager 1's power comes from a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTG. It converts the heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. This power source is expected to keep running until 2025, after which Voyager 1's instruments will slowly go dark. Even after it stops communicating, 
Voyager 1 will keep drifting silently through the galaxy. Its path takes it through the orb cloud, a region filled with icy objects. It will take around 300 years to enter it, and about 30,000 years to exit. That gives you a sense of just how massive the solar system really is. The cost of the Voyager missions, around $865 million in 1977 dollars, or about $4 billion today, may seem high, but compared to what we've learned, it's a bargain. These spacecraft have sent back decades worth of data, rewritten textbooks, and inspired generations of scientists and engineers. Even with all the upgrades to space technology, nothing has matched the simplicity and durability of Voyager. The tape recorders used to store data still work today. Its backup thrusters are still functional. The spacecraft was built to last, and that's exactly what it has done. NASA engineers had to develop special software to filter out background noise in the data. As the signal from Voyager weakens, it's becoming more like a whisper in a storm. But thanks to NASA's deep space network, which uses huge radio antennas, we can still hear it. The journey of Voyager 1 isn't just a science story, it's a human story. It shows our desire to explore, to reach beyond our limitations, and to understand the universe. It's a symbol of our curiosity, our creativity, and our drive to know more. There are scientists today who still find surprises in the data Voyager sends. Dr. Stamatios Krimigas, who worked on the Voyager mission, said, we keep being amazed. This little spacecraft is still teaching us something new. Voyager's senses also detect particles from ancient supernovae, the remains of exploded stars. These particles tell us about the birth and death of stars, the makeup of galaxies, and how the elements that form planets, and even life, were created. It may never reach another star, but Voyager 1 is now a permanent traveler through the Milky Way, carrying with it our hopes, dreams, and scientific legacy. Its mission shows that we can send a machine into the unknown, and it can report back with discoveries that change how we see the cosmos. The message on the golden record wasn't just for aliens, it was for us too. It says, this is who we are, we were here, we reached for the stars. As the spacecraft continues its silent flight through space, many scientists reflect on how bold and inspiring the mission was. Dr. Linda Spilke, a NASA planetary scientist, once said, Voyager reminds us that great things can come from small beginnings. Every time Voyager sends a signal, it's a tiny handshake across space, a reminder that Earth is listening, learning, and dreaming. It's proof that even from a tiny blue planet, we can leave a mark on the universe. The Voyager missions are often used in classrooms around the world to inspire young minds. Teachers use them to explain physics, engineering, history, and astronomy. They've become a symbol of what's possible when human curiosity meets scientific skill. Scientists continue to study Voyager's data to understand space weather, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. Many researchers believe that these studies could help prepare for future missions beyond the solar system, maybe even to Proxima Centauri, our closest star neighbor. If humanity ever becomes a spacefaring civilization, people will remember that Voyager was the first step. It didn't just explore planets, it pushed the limits of what we believed was possible. It went where no one had gone before, not with a person, but with a signal and a golden record. So when you look up at the night sky, think about Voyager 1, still traveling, still reaching, still whispering back to us across billions of miles. It's out there, representing all of us, carrying our story into the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.